Alright guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the uh, Lewis dot structure for the chlorate ion, ClO3-, so here we go. We have ClO3-, which is going to give us 7 valence from the chlor chlorine, plus 3 oxygens each with 6 valence electrons, plus 1 more electron because of the negative 1 charge, for a total of 26 valence electrons okay so we can uh, subtract out the largest multiple of 8 which is 24 it gives you 2 remaining divided by 2 gives you 1 and 24 is equal to 8 times 3 meaning that this is an a x 3 3 from here e1 there's this one here meaning there's a central atom three surrounding atoms and one non-bonding pair on the central atom. So let's go ahead and draw this structure, okay? I have chlorine in the middle with the three oxygens surrounding it. And at first, let's go ahead and single bond all of the oxygens and then fill in the rest of their octets and we'll go from there. So that's there's your 8, 16, and 24 electrons. And then we also have to add in this non bonding pair. So let's go ahead and put that right there. And at first, this you might think that this is the right structure, but if you were to check the formal charges on the atoms as they are now, you'd find that you have plus two on on the uh, the chlorine, and that's really not what you're looking for. You're trying to get all zeros or as close as possible. So what we're going to end up doing is moving not only just one of these pairs to, to form a double bond, but we're going to actually move two of these pairs to form two double bonds to the chlorine and at first you might think that the chlorine can't have this many electrons but being in the uh, third period chlorine actually has access to the D subshell so it can hold more than eight so the octet rule is not explicit f um, for this um, atom okay so and then don't forget to add in the uh, braces brackets because it's a charged particle so now let's go ahead and check the formal charge so the formal charge for the chlorine is going to be um, seven valence brought in minus one two three four five bonds minus one two non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero so zero is what we're looking for there you always want to have as close to zero as possible okay so now we can do the formal charge on uh, let's do the oxygen with a single bond so O sub one so that's this oxygen up top here so that's six valence brought in minus uh, one bond minus one, two, three, four, five, six non bonding electrons for a formal charge of negative one. Okay. And now let's do the formal charges of the oxygen with oxygens with a double bond, so O sub two. And that's going to be both this oxygen here and this oxygen here. So that's going to be six valence brought in minus uh, two bonds for each one minus four non bonding. 1, 2, 3, 4 for each oxygen for a formal charge of 0 and we times that times 2 because there's 2 oxygens with double bonds so if you add these up it's a formal charge of negative 1 overall which is what we're looking for because the charge on this particle is minus 1 so that's that's good that's supposed to match okay now you're also because we just happen to choose that this top oxygen has a single bond and these two have double bonds it could also work out in, in either of the other two combinations so we can have the uh, the top has a double and the bottom right has single bottom left still has double so that's one other possibility and these are going to be your uh, resonance structures and there's going to be one more and now the bottom left will have the single and the other two will have doubles Okay, so there you are your resonance structures, and now let's talk about the shape real quick. Um, being an AX3E1 and having this uh, type of structure, it's going to have a trigonal, pyramidal shape, okay? And uh, with this kind of shape, the trigonal pyramidal shape, the uh, bond angle is going to be approximately equal to 107 degrees all right 
Um, there's one, two, three, four bonding sites. You have the three surrounding atoms and then the one non-bonding pair. So four bonding sites means an sp3 hybrid orbital. So one s and three p's. And due to the fact that there is this this uh, single non-bonding pair on the, on one end of the, of the central atom, that's going to make this a polar compound. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.